for what he was getting. Dr. Frank Martin is manager of research and development of golf products for Uniroyal Inc., inventors of the new Royal Plus Six golf ball. Dr. Martin, how does the Royal Plus Six golf ball differ from the conventional golf ball? We have a <clears throat> photo here that's a split. Shows two of them. The uh, conventional golf ball is shown on this half and the new golf ball on this half. Mm -hmm. The conventional ball has 336 circular dimples, as we call them. The new That's ball, two less than Jack has. <laughs> <laughs> the new ball has 252 hexagonal dimples. And by having that design plus some other features, it stays in the air longer than a conventional ball, so it goes farther. Looks That's like fascinating. The moon, doesn't it? Hmm? Looks it, like the landing on the moon. Yeah. Looks um, like Colonel Cooper could fly around that. <laughs> we have a collection of golf balls here that belong to Dr. Martin. Doctor, would you explain those to us? Jennifer, would you bring out the, uh, the collection of golf balls, please? Well, these uh, are samples of balls really from the beginning of the game. Some imaginative historians want to say that the Italian uh, shepherds batted balls around with their crooks and used rocks, but that really the first ball was the feathery ball made in Scotland. It was made by sewing together a pouch, stuffing a hat full of goose feathers in it, and then sewing it up. Well, that was all right until it got wet, and it didn't last very long. <clears throat> so. Somebody came along and made one out of gutta percha, material that they used to mold, make soles out of. They could mold it and remold it to form a ball. Then the first modern ball is a wound ball, which winds rubber thread onto a core and then is covered with a, uh, a balata cover, same material as here. Now, all of these other balls have some kind of design on them. Why is that? Well, a lot of people think that these designs are just for appearance, but actually they're what make the ball makes it do what it does. As the ball flies through there, it spins. And the amount of spin, and the, it gives a lift, just like an airplane wing lifts the airplane. And the lift is dependent on the number of the dimples, as we call them, the shape of them, and the location of it. So this down here is the conventional 336 dimples that everybody's used to uh -huh. seeing. This is the Royal Plus 6 with 252 hexagonal dimples, which gives it more lift. And they don't look as deep. Are they, they are about the same. That's uh, they, sort of an optical illusion. There aren't as many of them. So there's more, there's yes. more smooth. Have they uh, been surface. accepted in the tournaments, Doctor? Oh, yes. yes. They are perfectly legal uh, golf ball. And they are being used by a lot of people. How did people find out that if it was patterned, it would stay up longer? Well, that goes back to the gutta percha ball. Uh, the people that used it uh, wanted it nice and smooth, but they found that as they used it, the more they used it, the better it got, as, as far as flying is concerned. Mm -hmm. So there was quite an art for a while to make various kinds of dimples and, uh, yeah, by hammering right. the ball. And so and that was done more or less by, I guess, by guys, I, I reckon, until this one came along. This actually was developed as a result of a research program that went on for about three years using all kinds of electronics, I've got photography, a and the, for golf balls uh, over the years. <laughs> That's really remarkable, Computers. Doctor. Thank you very much for being with us on What's My Life. <laughs>